It's Money Saving Monday, where we dedicate time to helping you save some cash. 12 News journalist Trisha Hendricks joins us now to break down the top consumer stories that could benefit you. Trisha. Yes. So, Tram, as we're inching closer to the 4th of July, we're all getting excited about that. New data suggests buying your favorite barbecue food may cost a little bit more this year. A traditional Independence Day barbecue for 10 people will cost about $71 this year, up 5% from last year. Beef prices up 11% and lemonade prices are up 12%. So having a sweet treat after your barbecue, that could also cost you more with a half gallon of ice cream up 7%. Cookies up 2%, not the cookies. Oh. Well, before you go grocery shopping, experts suggest taking a look at your grocery store's app for coupons. I'm a big couponer. Consider discount retailers as well. Uh, don't be afraid to change your cookout plan if it just gets too expensive. Everybody's gotta eat, right? I know, go with what's on <laughs> sale. That's what yeah, I say. Exactly, yeah. I'm so big on the deals. Yeah. And have you ever thought about uh, the back to school? I mean, back to school is just around the corner. Oh have you been gosh. looking it's, at the deal? Yeah, it's about a month away. <laughs> I've got the list exactly. and really I, I literally price compare yeah. between Walmart, Target and yes. Amazon. I do too. Yeah. And it's such a great thing to do because there are deals to be had. You just have to do a little bit of research and we're just about a month away from that big first day of school. <laughs> Experts suggest to start creating a plan right now to help you prioritize needs and avoid impulse purchases. I'm also guilty of that. So I like the deals, but yeah, then you see those ads pop up. Oh, that looks like a good deal too. Yeah. So that means making a shopping list. Try to stick to it, but also create a budget plus researching prices like we mentioned and then sales. Secondhand items that can also help you cut costs. And if you create a plan now, you can spread out your spending. Still working on that, but yes, anywhere you can save is great, right? If you're in the market for buying or selling a home this summer, listen up. A lot of people think that there's this big summer slowdown in the hot summer months here in the Phoenix metro area, but the reality is that's just not the case. The summer months don't bring a halt to the market, but rather they offer unique opportunities. We got the chance to talk with one real estate expert, Trevor Halpern, who says May through August, those are the four of their six busiest months for closings. Dig deep digitally, do your research, try to find the homes, the, the diamonds in the rough, and then negotiate very hard and negotiate intelligently. So it is possible to find your dream home. That's up if you're up for breaking a little sweat, right? Out in the heat, looking for the home. Yeah, no yeah. kidding. I know a couple of people who are, you know, trying to buy a house right now or one friend has already moved. Yes. But OK, so this is what's interesting. Apparently, yeah. the number of closings is the highest in the summer months in Phoenix compared to any other time of the year. But what you apparently learned is that the number of listings coming on does slow down. Yes, yeah, so it kind of depends how you look at it. But what we also found out is that that can actually be a competitive advantage. That's if you're a seller out there. So nice. coming up at 630, we're going to tell you how. Plus, we're sharing some money saving tips. That's if you're in the market to buy right now. OK, good stuff. Don't stray from that shopping list, Trisha. I right? know you. All right, thank you.